Um, I was just wondering, like, I'm trying to flush my Christmas tree down the toilet. The toilet's clogged up now. You're not supposed to flush Christmas trees down the toilet. Here, I'm going to flush it. It it starts to flush, and then it it just, um, yeah, the water goes up. It goes up over the edge and goes all over the floor. Well, I tell you, you plugged up the drain. You think? Yeah, I think. It's not made to flush Christmas trees down toilets. I'm sorry. It's not fine. No, if I cut into small pieces, it is. It don't matter how small pieces. A toilet is not made to take trees in the, in the sewer line. Pull the Christmas tree out of the toilet, shove it up your ass, then. I'm just going to bypass the toilet and flush everything down the hole in the floor. No, you won't be able to bypass the toilet. I'm sorry. That's what we have dumpsters for. I know, but if I just if I cut the pieces really small and I put them in the hole in the floor... It, it's not, it, it will plug up that drain, I guarantee you. No, I don't no. care how small you cut them up. I'm telling you right now, do not flush those down the toilet. I'm telling you that. I could dump a bucket of water on top of it and it'll be like flushing. I'm not going to plug up the whole sewer line. I'm, I'm cutting it into small pieces. Put it in the dumpster. How many times do I have to tell you? Put it in the dumpster. But that's a big hassle to take it out. I'm telling you, put it in the dumpster. I'm just going to flush the branches down the toilet, though, and the ornaments and the lights. You put it in the dumpster. I'm not going to tell you again. Do not flush it down the toilet. Please do what I say. Put it in the dumpster. But I'm going to remove the toilet, so it's not going to clog up the toilet. I'm telling you, put it in the dumpster. It won't work. I'm telling you, I know plumbing. It won't work. Put it in the dumpster. But you probably never... Gee, money, this is crazy talking to you about something like this. This is absolutely crazy. Have you ever tried doing it this way, though? Put it in the dumpster. Put the Christmas tree out of the toilet, shove it up your ass, then. What the fuck is this? R-E-E-F-E-R We be touching tones, calling phones We rip from Craigslist Systematic prank machine It's never been better than this Feeling fine, dial your line You don't know what the facts is Running strong for 20 years Cactus Cactus This ain't a game Playing on these phones Roy gets a little boner Every time he hears the dial tone Just like when I see There's a brand new upload We eat, sleep and listen to the Snowplow Show My name is Sensei Doug, I happen to know Tai Chi See you giving snake eyes and we're gonna have a disagreement Call you morning, night or evening If we hack your voicemail, we call it an achievement If you laugh, try your best to conceal it When the number's disconnected, we know it's a bereavement Shit Please hang up and give a moment of silence Message PLA PLA Cactus Old man story mode. Hi, my name is Roy and I'm calling from the corporate office. Sorry that you're busy, but the problem we got is the server's gone wrong. Your sales don't exist. We're gonna need you to go out back. Am I supposed to be doing this? Yes, find the breaker box. One by one, we need them switches all flicked off. It's normal if the lights go out in and around the shop. Keep on flicking switches till the phone cuts off. Plunge into darkness, we are the master artists The tilts will start and the funny part is I can hear us laughing but still make sure they power down Every switch in this bitch cause a mass confusion For every single department PLA making every mark open the fuse compartment Bro, you got some balls, mister Oh no! No, I can't do that, sir, sorry Oh, no, it's okay, I'm calling from the corporate office Snowplow show Hello everyone, you're listening to the Snowplow Show. I'm your host Brad. Today is another live show that happened over the weekend. The previous one that I released was from Saturday night, and today's live show is from Sunday morning. Even though it was Sunday morning, I couldn't manage to get that show out that day. I don't know why. I don't remember what I was doing on Sunday. You can blame my slowness on the sponsors of today's show, Brennan, Plaz, Lord and Lady of Veggies, Effin Reality, and B.I. Ever for Life. Those are the ones to blame for everything that goes wrong in this show. If you'd like to be able to catch live shows, good luck. There's no schedule. You just kind of have to hope that you're around when I get around to going live. But the best way to find out about a live show is to follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash phone losers. I usually post on there if there's going to be a live show. So that's probably your best bet. Lately, I've been on Twitch more than anything else. That's where I've been actually broadcasting the live shows from. So you might want to also follow me on Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash phone losers. Okay, enough of this intro thing. 
I've got a live show to play, and by live, I mean from several days ago. Here is the show that I did right before Nick Caesar went on this past Sunday. You're listening to the Snowplow Show. Motherfucker. Okay, I'm going to call um, places, uh, Sensei Doug places, things, um, shopping malls, shopping centers, not malls, shopping centers. That's what we're calling. I got a list here. It's from... Dickhead Dugman is his name, and he sent me a big old list of numbers uh, near a martial arts place, which is, I don't think, open right now. So you know what? We're going to call these, if I can find the numbers. Where's my phone? Oh, shit, it's over there. Okay. Hey, everybody. Happy Sunday. I'm only doing this show for exactly, well, one hour and nine minutes from now. I'm going to end because at noon Pacific time, that's when... Nick Caesar does his stream on Twitch, and I can't do a show, not because I care about doing a show over Nick Caesar, what's he going to do, but I want to watch his stream, so I'm going off the air, and all of you guys have to watch his stream with me. That's the rule. Can't leave when my show's over. Yeah, I suggest everyone get extremely angry with Nick Caesar about cutting my show short, but really, I probably wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for him. I should be... Editing yesterday's show instead of doing another show. Maybe I should just stop putting out a podcast. I'll just do live shows where I don't have to edit anything. Hey, Morgan. Oh, hey, it's Sensei Doug over at the the dojo, the martial arts place, right by you. Dojo. Yeah, the martial arts place. It's Sensei Doug. You know karate, like all the all the little kids in karate uniforms out here. Where? What, what? What? What shopping center are you in? The same one that you're in, here on your Avenue. Yeah. All right. So listen, sir, I would like you to stop looking in my window whenever you walk by, and giving me snake eyes. What? I. You heard me. I said you need to stop looking in my window every time you walk by. And give me snake eyes like that, because I didn't do anything to you. I'm just trying to hang out here and work. Wh- which one are you talking about? Wh- what are you? I'm just trying to make a living, you know, just like you. I understand. Which one are you? Which which store you're calling? Uh, I'm, well, I'm calling the, the beer and wine market. And I'm looking at... look. You, you're from where? I, I'm from the dojo, the martial arts place, you know? I, I'm the one... I don't have a dojo hey. in this... Yes, hey. you do. M- maybe you... I don't have a dojo. I got a taekwondo here. Taekwondo is a Korean guy. It's the same thing, and I work no, for the Korean. No, it's Kore- not the same I, thing. I work for the Korean guy. Okay. And I- what's the address? And you here? know what? You know what? The Korean guy. He has a name. You don't need to just call him the Korean guy. That's not yeah. cool. Yeah. So what's his name? I didn't oh, say Korean. Oh, yeah. so so you don't know. I don't know the guy named Dojo from that from there. I didn't say his name was Dojo. I said I'm opening. Uh, no, no, I'm, 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 I'm opening Dojo. I'm opening a Dojo inside of his Taekwondo. If you know what, what I mean. No, I don't know. I don't understand what you're trying to say, sir. You just better What's stop. What's the address here? What's the address you're calling? Stop from? giving me those snake eyes, okay? You're always giving me snake eyes. You're always looking in my window whenever you walk by and you're giving me snake eyes. Just, when just, did I walk by just, from your place? Just because I'm new. No, when did I walk away from you guys? Well, I guess whenever you're just walking to work. So just, you cut that out, okay? I don't, well, I don't walk to work. I drive. Yeah, but whenever you get out of your car. And then sometimes you come you out. You got the wrong address, guy. Oh, I know it's you, bud. You just, you just better stop looking at me, okay? No, I'm, you, you, you got the, I'm telling you, you got the wrong and, guy. And stop giving me those snake eyes. And sometimes okay. when, whenever I walk by your store and I'm on my way to work, you, you always look out your window and you, you give me snake eyes. I don't appreciate it. You're messing up my chi. You don't understand. Though. I don't know what, what shopping center are you in. I'm the same one you're in. No, you're not. Yes, I am. We, we, we got we got the express takeout place. We got the buffalo wings and beers place. We got that stupid cell phone store and the place. 
I'm here every day. And I'm looking at your inside your store. Yeah, so you finally admit it. You admit that you're looking at me and you're giving me snake eyes. You better you cut that in. out, motherfucker. You, you, you come down here and talk to me in a face to face. No, I don't want to. I just want you to stop looking at me. You're taking shit, man. I, I, don't, I don't want to be your friend. I think we've lost him. Not sure escalated. Are you still there, sir? Did he? Okay. It's like he clicked over or something. Well, that was fun. I, I don't know the difference, you, you guys, between dojo and tai chi. Did he say tai chi? Or uh, taekwondo or something? I don't know. I don't know anything. I'm not cultured. Here's a doctor's office. Luckily, they're closed today. Probably shouldn't be pranking doctor's offices. Uh, I'm not calling from a number I can get called back at today. I think I just put a random number in. I don't have a phone number in this area, so I just didn't bother. Thank you for calling T-Mobile. I'm help you. Hey, uh, this is Sensei Doug over at the, the martial arts taekwondo place, apparently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how come you're mumbling like that? I mean, you your your whole business is communications. You think you'd have a better speaking voice when answering the phone? You don't mumble at the customers like that, do you? Excuse me? I just said you're mumbling. How, how may I help you? Uh, every time I walk by your store, uh, I'm the one, you know, in the in the, the karate, uh, the taekwondo uniform. You know, the white robe. And I have the Walkman. And you're always in, okay. in there just, like, looking at me. Can you cut that out, please? What'd you say? Can, can you please just stop looking at me all the time? Whenever I walk by, you're always looking at me and giving me snake eyes. I guess. I guess. Okay. Okay. <laughs> he keeps peeking through the glory hole and staring at my students. He's a couple doors down. But, you know, I could, I could have accused him of that anyway. It's too late now, though. That one didn't work out. Oh, what? The Nails place is closed. What's a Sensei Doug show without calls to a Nails place? Hey, no I help you? Hey, it's Sensei Doug over at the martial arts place. Huh? It's Sensei Doug down the sidewalk from you. What you say? Sensei Doug, you know, over there on the other side of the building? Uh-huh. Sensei Doug, you know, over martial arts place. I'm, what are you calling for? Oh, I'm calling for you. Uh, I was uh, in there the other day, and I was getting one of my expresses. Do you, do you need to take that? Can you three-wheel? Huh? Nothing. I don't know what you're doing. Huh? I know. This isn't going to go well, is it? I'm about to give up. Hello? Oh, hey, it's Sensei Doug over at the martial arts place. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Hey, uh, that, that lady that answered the phone, every time I walk by, uh, and, and she looks out the window and she gives me snake eyes. Can you please tell her to stop doing that? What? Every time I walk by, that lady that answered the phone, she's always just looking at me. She's just giving me this look. No, I don't appreciate it. You know, I'm just trying to walk to work over here at the martial arts place. Why she gotta look at me like that? How do you know she's looking at you giving you a snake eyes? She can't look? Well, it's it's the, the look that she's given me. She's giving me the, the snake eye look. How do you know it's a snake eye? Well, because I can see it. You know, I, I glance over there and I, I see snake eyes looking at me and, and uh, I, I kind of get the chills and I, I just walk away quickly. Chills? Like, yeah, because it's scary, and you know, I'm just trying to go to work. It's like it's like a death stare. Like, what's her problem? You tell her to cut what's that. Like, you're not making any sense. So. Oh, no, she doesn't make sense. She's the one giving me snake eyes every time I walk by. Why are you walking by, then? Well, because cause, uh, I park over there. I park, you know, in one of your parking spots so that all my parking spots are freed up. Then I walk down the sidewalk. <laughs> yeah. What? Dude, stop. Don't. Wait. What? 
don't call us, but... What? No, tell her to stop giving me snake eyes like that. I'm sick of it. Don't call us. Seriously. Oh, I might call. If she keeps giving me snake eyes like that every time I walk by... If she wants to like, look at you, she yeah. can look at you. I, I, I try not to look that way. And, and this but, is a free country. If she wants to look, then she can look. Yeah. It's not up to you, buddy. But, but it's not very respectful, because, you know, I'm just trying what? to go to work. just taking a look? Yeah, but why is she giving me that, that, that snake eye look? Snake what, eye look. Like, what, what's next? Is she going to wink her butthole at me out the window? I don't want that. I'm just trying to go to work. Dude, don't call us. Well, tell her to stop winking her butthole at me. Did you say that one more time? Do you know snake eyes, they're not protected by the Constitution. My friend Snappy Bake says so. Seriously, don't cause. I, I okay, don't... I, I want to hear you tell her not to do that anymore, and he's he's gone. He's gone. Thank you, Snappy Bakes, for quoting some laws to me. I needed that. Good to know that. Oh, you show, I'll help you. Hey, you did, you didn't hang up. You just clicked over and then you came back. I thought you were gonna hang up. What do you do? I was getting ready Who to call the, the fuck next. Are you? Well, um, this is Sensei Doug over over at the martial arts place. Uh, we don't care, dude. Why'd you ask hey. me then? You asked who I was, and then I told you, and you said you don't care. If you don't care, why'd you ask? Don't ask if you don't want to know. Dude, are you being serious? Yes, I'm tired of having snake eyes pointed in my direction. You tell her to point those snake eyes somewhere else. She doesn't even know who you are. Like she never seen you. Who are you talking okay, about? Okay, listen. Next, next time I walk by, you ask her to look in the other direction. Tell no, her. No, I'm not going to ask her to do anything. Like you're not going to ask her to do anything. This is free no. country, and she can do whatever fuck she wants. She needs to look northwest. No, no, no. She doesn't have to look away. She can look wherever the fuck she wants. If I walk by though, she shouldn't give me snake eyes. She should turn around. Uh, she can look, she can do whatever what she wants. If you if you're not comfortable, don't walk by then. She needs to face toward the northwest and look at the no, ground. No, she doesn't have to. Like, shut the fuck up. Hey, listen. No. I'm I'm tired of this. I just want to go to I, work. I'm tired of you. I I, I don't want to hear you. Like why the fuck are you calling us? I want to go to work unmolested. I only I only molested. Who the fuck do you think you are? Oh no, I, I mean molested as in the uh, you know just quit no, bothering no, no, me way. Not not. Though. I'm not saying that she's. Okay, now if he comes back again, I gotta play the dial tone. Oh, he's gone. Never mind. I see. I should have been ready because I think he was gonna pick up and call someone. Oh, that'd be great. Get all my students out there, just stand in front of her window, and they all just stare her down. Because, you know, they're trained in snake eyes. Taekwondo, as you all know, if you're into Taekwondo as much as I am and you know everything about Taekwondo, like, snake eyes is the first thing they teach you. And butthole winking is the fourth. I believe you, deadly pliers. Taekwondo directly translates to Eye of the Snake. It's true, everybody. Write this down. We're going to have a test at the end. Okay, so we have... Wings and beer. Wings and beer. Should I do anything else, you guys, besides uh, snake eyes? <laughs> Getting a little tired of this. Hey, it's uh, Sensei Doug over at the, the the martial arts place. I'm sorry, what? It's Sensei Doug all the way at the other end of the building. You know, the martial arts place where all the people come oh. and they learn how to do taekwondo. Okay. You know, you know that place down there, over there. Um, I think I guess. Did you see what number I'm calling you from? No. Okay. Do you have caller ID there? No. Okay. I'm I'm behind your building right now, and I've hooked my office phone into that gray box on the outside of your building, and I'm pretty sure I'm calling you from your own fax line. Isn't that crazy? Okay. I figured out how to, to wire up phones, so I hooked my phone up to your fax line and I called your regular line. So it's like you're getting a call right now from your fax line, but it's me. It's Sensei Doug. Okay, what's up? Oh, nothing. I was just hoping every time I walk by there, you're always, there, there's always people looking out and giving me snake eyes. Is there any way they can stop? Okay. I... I don't know what this is, but 
Is this a manager? This isn't funny. No, okay. I'm not trying to be funny. <laughs> Why would she think that's funny at all? None of that was funny. Govin, this is Georgia. How can I help you? Hey, Georgia. It's Sensei Doug over at the Taekwondo place. You know, over on the other side of the building. The yeah. Shop. Yeah, how you doing? Um, good. That's good. Are you like a manager or... You just, no, uh, I can get a manager though. Well, do you know, have you been having any break-ins lately or people coming in with guns or... Is there any crimes happening there? No. Oh. Alright, we're, we're, uh, me and my students, we're thinking about starting up a new security company and we're going to come around and just kick ass. Uh... <laughs> Can I have? Can I talk to the manager, please? All right. Tell her I'm calling from your fax line. Hello, this is Marcus. How can I help you? Hey, Marcus. I'm calling from your fax line. This is Sensei Doug. Over, okay. What over, can I do for you? Over at the martial arts place. Uh huh. Um, I plugged into your phone line box out here in the back of the building. You know that little okay. that little gray box that has the phone lines going into it. And I've swapped your phone number with my phone number. So you're going to be getting calls for Sensei, for, for Sensei Doug over at the martial arts place. And your phone, like your main ordering line, it's going to ring over at our place. Why, why, did, why did you do that? It's just a cross-promotional thing. You know, we'll, we'll tell them. We'll send them over. But, you know, in the meantime, we'll also advertise um, Taekwondo services to them. And you're welcome to do the same with our customers. Okay, well, did you run run this by anybody before you did that? I'm just a little no, confused. I didn't no. even know that it was a thing that we were doing. Yeah, no, I looked it up on YouTube, like how to rewire phone lines. Like, apparently in the back of every single building, there's this little gray box. It's called a telephone network interface. And you can just get in there and, like, switch the wires around and, and have anyone's phone. It's crazy. Yeah, that is pretty crazy. Can, can you switch it back? No, we, we didn't really sign up for that. I mean, <laughs> we didn't, we knew, nobody told us we were doing that. I don't even know how to like wire stuff up. I'm no, I'm no good at computers and electronics, but this was super easy. It's just like two wires here and there. Okay, but ho hold on. Let me put you on hold for a second, all right? If you get any orders, I'll... Okay, ow. That hurt. We're on silent hold. That sucks. I'll just slosh my ice around. I thought that was the manager. What's he doing? Is he calling the, the, the district guy? This is Gino. Can I help you? Oh, hey. It's uh, Sensei Doug over at the Taekwondo place. Yeah. I'm, I'm calling you from your own fax line. You're calling what? I'm calling you from your own fax line. Did you see my caller ID? I don't. Oh, yeah. I'm calling you from your fax line. Isn't that, that's okay, where crazy, isn't it? Where now? I'm sorry, what? Where are you? Oh, I'm in my office right now, like over here at the uh, the Taekwondo place, the martial arts okay. place. But it's crazy, like, so I'm in my office, but when I pick up my phone, it's your phone. It's like, it's your phone number. And like, when we know you know who switched it? I did, I did. And when you pick up your phone, you're going to be on my line. I don't want to be on your line. You, you can't mess with our phone. No, it's really easy. I watched a YouTube. No, 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 no. I watched a YouTube video last night and learned no, no, how to no, re, no. re. You, you put our phone line back now. No, I'm not going to steal your business. I'm going to take their orders. I know how to take no, orders. No, no, you're not. No, you're not. You can't fuck with our line. Put it back exactly the way it was, and come down here and talk to me about it if you want. You can't just do something like that. <laughs> I'm not trying to fuck with it. I, I just. I thought it would be like a good, good, good cross promotion thing. I don't need you to do promotions for me. Yeah, no, it's promotions for both of us because you know, no, like no, you, no. you can tell Stop them about talking. about. Put it back. You can tell my customers. And come down here and talk to about me about it if you want. Pizzas and stuff, you know. You do and not change our phone. Line. That's a that's that's got to be illegal for you to be even be in that phone room. I don't think so. I'm gonna teach my students like how to get a black belt in telecommunications. Are you effing with me? No, not of not at all. I don't know why you think. If you have done anything to our phones, undo it and come down and talk to me if you want to talk about it. I don't understand. Something you set up with. Stop talking. This is something you set up with an owner. Yeah, and that's you do it ahead of time. That's you why I'm calling. That's why I'm calling. I just let you letting you know. 
so so that you know that that I'm getting your calls now. So right, I'm going to call the police. No, don't call the police. Like, get on your I'm phone call the police, and call and your. They're, they're going to come over here and speak to you. What's your no, name? Call your own business, and you'll see that. I don't it, want to call my own business. It, you'll see that it rings over at my place. I don't want it and to ring. Hey, hey, stop! Place. Stop talking! Stop talking! No. And, and you'll understand that it's like a better system for both of us. No. You like, don't mess with our stuff. You're pretty ungrateful for free labor and free marketing. I don't want your help. This is something you would set up ahead of time, not something you would do like this. Are you down in there right now? Yeah, I'm in my office, but name? I'm on your phone number. Isn't that weird? What is your name? It, it's like the Twilight Zone, basically. Yeah, I'm going to have the police down is, there. What's nope, your name? This is Sensei Doug. You shouldn't have the police down here. That's, police are coming. For what, what reason? Be Be because the police are against marketing, like genius marketing plans? You must be some kind of... Some kind of what? I'm sorry the phone cut out. Idiot. Oh, yes. Correct. Are you down there in the Taekwondo place now? No, I'm just making a prank call, sir. I live in Oregon. I've... Why would you do something stupid like that? Because aren't you relieved now? Because now you don't have to fix your phone lines, and everything's fine. You are an idiot. <laughs> sir? Oh, I thought he hung up there. I... Why, why did it, why is it cut out every time he says idiot? I'm sorry, guys. I had to tell him he's going to call the police. We don't want that. Hi, he's being real view. Hey, it's Sensei Doug over at the, the marsh. What is that noise? Turn that down. Uh, it's soccer, soccer, man. Tur turn it off. Turn it off. Turn that off! Sir! Uh, yeah, I turn it off now! I can't hear you! Turn it off! Hold on, hold on. Hurry up! Turn that down! Yeah, I got it. Thank you. Hey, it's Sensei Doug over at the uh, martial arts place. You know, across the street. What? It's Sensei Doug over at the martial arts place across the street. Sensei Doug, uh, I, I work. Yeah, I work across the street from you. Yeah, and what? Across the avenue. Can you can you please just stop looking over here with binoculars? That's a little weird, and I don't appreciate it. You need, you need no, I I I don't understand. You say what? At the, you say you next to. Yes. Yeah, across the street, right? Yeah, yeah. Across the street. And what? I, and why, why are you looking over here with binoculars all the time? Why are you looking in my window with binoculars? Window what? Why, why are you looking in my window with binoculars? Why, why are you looking over here like that? That's weird. Why are you watching me? Uh, look, look, look at what? You keep looking over here with binoculars and you're giving me snake eyes through the binoculars. Why are you doing that? No, I didn't look at anything. Yeah, but why are you using binoculars to look over here? Look at what? I look, you're looking at me. Like I'm just in here in my office. I'm doing work. Now I'm 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 teaching the kids the taekwondos. Yeah, I know. And, and I didn't look at you. And we're starting a security. A, I a didn't look at anything. Well, I just well, talk with you, man. Just just please, motherfucker. Please stop looking at us through the binoculars. Binoculars? What? I don't have it. Yeah. Well, no. We we know it's you. It's just weird. You're being weird. Stop being. I didn't look at anything, man. You want to order food, right? No, no. I just want you to cut that out. You stop it. Stop it. No. Stop what? You stop looking at me. I'll come over there. I didn't look at you. I'm, I'm, I'm at the restaurant, man. But you're giving me snake eyes, sir. I didn't look at you, man. Yeah. Just, 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 just don't do that, okay? Just please stop. Ooh. It's okay. <laughs> That was not worth getting that upset over. What the hell? Chloe Weinlinger. Hey, it's Sensei Doug over at the martial arts place. Uh huh. Uh, some of my students are gonna come over there in a minute. They've got a long orange extension cord, and they're gonna plug it into one of your outlets in there. So they're gonna be over there in a okay. minute. They're gonna be over there in a minute. They're coming from. Uh, you know, around the corner over there by the dental place. Okay, why? Uh, they're going to plug it in just so we have a little bit of extra. Why? Ex it's for so we have extra power here. We're trying something. 
Alright. We just need a little, little bit of... can't do long. You can't do it long. Oh, no, it's going to be most of the day, and your lights are going to kind of... Um, well, you can't... This is a government store, so... A government store? I wouldn't try... It's a liquor store. Yeah. Mago mm. Yeah, it's Montgomery County liquor store. Oh. You got to go through the government. That's weird. Anyway, yeah, we're just gonna we're we're just gonna plug in for, right. for a little they while. They can't do it. What? what nope. do you, no, Thank you. They're kids. You can't just tell kids no. They're gonna come in there and they're gonna plug it in. You don't have to nope. do any. You don't have to do anything. Nope. Nope. Why? Sorry. What, what do you mean no? Why are you being a, a, no. a jerk to kids on Sunday? I, I'm telling you. Are you not a this Christian? This is a liquor store. Are you not a this Christian? This is, this is a liquor store. Thank you. Bye. Are, aren't you a Christian, sir? That's crazy. I didn't know that all the liquor stores were county owned. What? That seems like a racket. I had no idea that was a thing. Revolting Kill says lots of states. Alcohol sales are exclusively run by the state. Okay. Hey look, it's a Safeway. I think I'll I'll skip over that one. I might need a few minutes here. I, I might need to find a new shopping center. I mean, I have... Oh yeah, I only have 30 minutes. Let's just try this other one. I got this other one sent to me by AB. Oh yeah, that one was sent to me by, oh yeah, I already said that, Dickhead Dugman. This next one was sent to me by AB, is his name. Um, Mr. Kachirio says, I need broken bottles to demonstrate street fighting stuff. Can you break a few bottles for me? You know what? I'm, I'm just going to go up to this random shopping center a couple like a quarter mile away from that one, because that one all sucks. There's not even a, a Sensei Doug place here, but they have a market, they have a Burlington, they have a shoe shop, Planet Fitness, Big Lots, T-Mobile with a local number. Okay, I'm just going to start at one end. They were calling T-Mobile. Hey, um, it's Sensei Doug over at the party lab next door. Mm -hmm. How you doing? What's going on? Oh, no. Good, how are you? I'm um, pretty good. Uh, I just, every time I walk by, you know, I'm coming here to work and stuff, you're always just looking at me. Huh? Like like today, I, I, I was walking to work, you know, just a little bit ago, and I walked by your window, and I glanced up, and you're just looking at me, and you're giving me snake eyes, and I don't understand why. Can you please not do that? Are you being serious right now? Yeah. I just, like, what are like, you talking about? Like, in my car? No, just like in when you're in the store, and it's making me very uncomfortable. And I'm just trying to go to work and just trying to do my job here at the party lab. Uh, buddy, I'm sorry, but I'm like, I don't look at you. Like, I look out the window like you're not, like, that important that I have to stare at you. Like, that's not what's going on. But I'm you're, not staring at you. You're giving me snake eyes, though. Like, every time you're giving me snake eyes. No, but I'm not, though. I, I'm not, though. Like, I don't know who you are, what your face looks like. So, like, I didn't even know, like, you work there, honestly, because I don't care. You know what I mean? Well, that's not what's going on. Well, no, I, I had my name tag on. You must have known. And, and like, I have no are, idea are you who the, you are, buddy. Are you I'm the manager? Line you. I am not, but like, I literally just stand here because it's dead. I know. And, and I, I have my AirPods in listening to music. I can't like, even I'm not, complain to the manager because he's like winking his butthole at me every time I walk by. And like, Does he tell you to give me snake eyes or to wink who? your butthole at me and then, and then maybe... My you, manager's a girl. That's... Well, I didn't... I don't know how she identifies. I, I'm not trying to you know assume genders or anything is this a joke dude N no i just i wish you would both stop it like i feel like i'm being harassed at this point and i no don't one's harassing you like that's look, not what's happening I, like i like you're not that important that okay. people like like this isn't like this isn't it i don't want to spar with you you know it's 2021 I mean, I, i'm not like i'm not looking to spar with anybody you're accusing me of like stuff that isn't what's happening like i'm literally just standing here listening to music looking out the window it's but a nice day out it's a nice sunday bro you're giving me snake eyes and, and then i call you up and, not, and ask though. you to please stop giving me snake eyes and you keep telling me how unimportant i am so it seems like you just have a problem but with i'm me. not here i i don't <laughs> how can i have a problem with someone i don't know and you admitted that you were looking like probably you're, you're, you're listening to no heavy metal i'm not or admitting something. to anything because no what, dude no i'm looking of, out the window as i always do for the last two years what kind of music are you listening to on your airpods i'm trying to work dude can i go back to work it sounds, you should probably be doing the same thing you, all right you said you just listen to your airpods all day what are you listening to is it angry music does that give you make you do snake eyes This dude, yeah, I'm just trying to work, bro. Yeah, so am I. I just want to go to work unmolested. What? 
All right. I just you have you... a great day. Whatever you're battling at home, man. I hope that gets. I'm not interested in over with, man. battling you. I just no I want to like no, walk no, no, by no. your I'm building at without home, you giving me. There's obviously some stuff going on, and you have to take it out on other people. And I understand that. I'm sorry for what you're going through. Nothing's right now, man, going on. I don't need to be involved. Well, Appreciate it. Why are you involving yourself by giving me snake eyes? <laughs> <laughs> he was super passive aggressive, wasn't he? Like he just wants to throw insults in there, but pretend he's concerned. The jerk. Thank you for calling your community. Big loss. This is Corey. How can I help you? Hey, Corey. What, what you chewing on? Oh, do you have your mask on? Yeah, I do. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, it's Sensei Doug uh, over at the uh, the dojo martial arts place. Mm-hmm. Uh, we found the basement. Did you know there's a huge basement in this shopping center? So we're I did not, no. Oh, yeah, we're underneath your store right now, directly underneath your store. Mm-hmm. And we're going to be sawing up through the floor. And I think we know where the posts are in the store, so we've we've mapped out where the aisles are, and I think we're going to come up right where the beanbags are. Do you know, you know where beanbags are? I do not. Though, do you just want me to put a manager on the phone real quick? I'm just gonna this send. Right here. I'm gonna send some of my students over to kind of like keep watch. Okay. Uh, around where the hole is gonna appear, because we're gonna have like a sec. Oh. It's gonna be like an uh, emergency exit, like fire escape type thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Let me just uh, just put my manager on the phone though, real quick, just in case. All right. Is it a, a male or a female? Oh, I do <laughs> What? This two. Uh, we have two bring on. One male, one female. Which one are you putting on? Uh, the female. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter to me because I don't see gender. Yeah. Me neither, so. <laughs> Alright, one second. Okay. You know, I had to ask. <laughs> Gotta find out. Not that it matters. Okay, what should I really do when the manager gets here? No speaking, how can I help you? Hey, it's Sensei Doug from over at the uh, martial arts place. Mm -hmm. uh, we're down in the basement right now. We're directly below your store. Uh huh. And we're getting ready to switch on the giant electromagnet. Uh huh. D and what does that mean? We're uh, gonna run out of electricity? Oh no, no. The lights are definitely gonna dim though. They're they're just gonna dim though, and uh, it won't cause any problems. Um, but, oh okay. You know, they'll just kind of dim in kind of a repeating fashion. Uh huh. And okay, uh, but uh, it's gonna you know it's a, it's a magnet, so like if people are wearing piercings, they're gonna feel you know, <laughs> kind of feel them tug, tugging down a little bit. Yeah, no, I don't. I haven't seen anybody yet with none of that. What? No, I mean pe like you know earrings and stuff. Yeah, no, I I haven't really seen anybody where. Oh, we got one right here that has earrings. Okay, can you let her know that it's probably gonna tug down like the magnetic. Uh, Oh. Fields are going to tug down on her earrings and any other piercings that she might have anywhere on her body. Could you just ask each uh -huh. customer as they come in if they have any piercings that we can't see? I see another customer that's walking in that has uh, earrings, but she's getting ready to check out. Okay. Tell her to leave quickly. But, I mean, it's, okay. it's, it's not dangerous or anything. It's just uncomfortable. Uh, but, you know, if you, have, uh -huh. if you have a ring on or earrings or... Uh, you know, a, a, a zipper, it's all going to start tugging down toward the floor because this is a super incredibly high-powered um, magnet down here. What is that for? Uh, we're just trying something. Oh. Do you know if okay. anyone, can you, like, are there a lot of people in the store right now? Do you know if anyone has metal shoelaces? No, sneakers, sneakers. Um, can you ask everyone to leave their car keys with you at the front as they come in? Oh, okay. Let me put you on hold real quick so I can see how many people are in the store. And also, can you find out who's vaccinated? Because, you know, the, that puts microchips in your bloodstream. And those are, ma those are magnetic. We all vaccinated. Oh, boy. You've got microchips in all your bloodstream. Us. I'm going to put you on hold. Okay. okay. So, you guys, in 10 minutes, the Nick Caesar stream starts. There's the URL. I just put it on the screen. Twitch.tv slash NickCaesar13. N-I-K. See, I don't want to spell it. But, you know, 10 minutes. That's when I'm leaving. That's when Nick starts. You're required to switch over.
That is a requirement. Go there right now. There he is. Oh, Nick Caesar's demanding I spell it. Ah, oh, they hung up on me. Why did they hang up on me? All right. So everyone needs to go to twitch.tv slash uh, Nick Caesar 13. That's in as in inter. I as in I O U. Uh, K as in no. C as in Q. E as in I. A as in R. S as in C. E as in I. Wait. Oh, no, scratch that. A as in R, and then R as in R, Wanda. And then the number uh, 13, 1, 3. That's, that's where you go. <laughs> I can't believe the manager just... Who had to tell her that it was fake for her to just come back and hang up on me? Love you too, Revolting. Hello, thanks for calling Great Clipska. How can I help you? Hey, it's Sensei Doug over at the dojo from martial arts taekwondo place. Yes. You know, uh, or on the other side of the building? Yes. How can I help you? Um, can you ask the girls in there, you know, the ones, the hair people, can you just yes. ask them to stop giving me snake eyes every time I walk by? Every time what? I'm sorry? Uh, every time I walk by on my way to work you know, over here at the dojo. I'm um, sorry. I don't know anything about that. Ma'am, just ask. <laughs> we don't even know who you are over there. Uh, yeah, why are you giving me snake eyes then? Because, like, I don't, you, I don't Why I don't, are you saying me? I don't even know you. I don't, because everyone in there is doing it. And I don't have any problems with anyone in there. I've actually been in we there. We don't have any problems with you, sir. I, I think maybe you're I, just. I, I came in I there like. I, came, I, don't I came know in where you're there. getting that from. I, I got my hair cut there. I don't know why you're being like this. I, like what? Well, I don't understand. like giving me snake eyes. Every time I walk by, you guys are giving me snake eyes. Why are you doing that for? Um, I'm I'm going to just end this conversation because I don't understand what you're talking well, about. Well, can, can you just ask I everyone? Really don't. Just ask everyone. Just I'm I'm sure that everybody can, would agree, and I will you, mention it. Can you just announce right now? Atten I attention! Don't think that's what's happening. Attention, really? everybody! Please stop giving. Can you since, just um, maybe you can tell me somebody more specific, and that uh, will help me to resolve the issue. Well, is the girl in there that works in there? Then she cuts people's what hair. What does she look like? Uh, I don't know because I don't really stare at her and give her snake eyes. I just kind of glance over, and everyone in there is giving me snake eyes. No, no, sir. And We're all licensed professionals here, and we don't behave that yeah, you're, way. You're professionally sorry, licensed and giving I'm sorry snake if eyes. That's what you've you need interpreted. To cut that out right now. Okay. Goodbye now. Bye, bye. Lady, tired of it. They started as worm eyes. What? I have a shoe place and a marketplace, and we're done. And then it is time for Nick Caesar. Hello, thank you for calling Great Clips, but how can I help you? Hey, also I wanted to make an appointment to have my hair cut. Sir, we don't it's... do appointments at our salon for anyone. We don't take an appointment, but you can use our app to reserve your spot online. Why can't I just make an appointment on the phone? Because our company does not take in appointments, sir. We never have, but you can reserve your spot online. Yeah, It'll but I, 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 don't, I don't have a smartphone. I have a flip phone. Does then it work on a flip phone? You, I can't get a haircut because I have a flip phone? Sir, if you call back again, I'm going to consider this harassment, and I will call the police department. I'm not trying to harass you. Thank I just you. want to I get really my hair cut. Why can't I have, I have, have my hair cut? I apologize. I can't, I can't afford a smartphone. Wow. Okay. I mean, I know you could just walk in, but at least make a, a, a flip phone app, right? Do I have anyone else I can call? Oh, yeah, the shoe store. It's called the shoe store. That lady was checking everybody's ears. Making sure they had earrings on. I bet the other managers like just giving her so much shit right now. Thank you for calling Shoot My Bell Car Bonso. Can I help you? Hey, it's Sensei Doug over at the martial arts place. How are you doing? Good. Yeah, hey, oh yeah, that's good. Good to hear. Um, no, it's shoe department. Yeah, I know. So I wanna find out, like, do you have do you sell just laces for shoes or do we have to buy the whole shoes? Yes, we sell laces. How many laces do you have? Like, how many packages? We need, we need um, you know, something like 700 packages of laces. Do you have 700? No, not 700. We have oh. a... If we mix the design, we not 700, maybe more than 100. I, I work at the... We have different colors. I work at the martial arts place, and I'm going to teach the students how to kill a man with a shoelace. You know, so they can get their... Uh, yeah, you can come and check this one. We have some different colors. Some is five, some is three, some is four colors. 
Oh, that'd be the best kind for uh, strangling. Yeah. Uh, I mean, not actual strangling. Yeah. I'm, I'm just teaching the kids how to strangle. It's completely normal. Yes. Just just like I teach the yes. kids how to kick, kick people business. in the face. So no big deal. Yes. It's not a problem. Don't don't get all weird about yeah. it. Okay. Uh, do you sell odd Thank numbers you. of shoes? Which number? Uh, odd numbers. Odd numbers of shoes. Do you sell odd numbers of shoes? Uh, no. You can check here. You are near us. So, sir, the, the average person has less than two feet. Why would you not sell odd numbers of shoes? No, we not sell that one. Why not? No. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You come check the laces. We have a lot of laces hey! here. Hey! Don't tell me what to do. Yeah. You don't be ordering me around. I'm a sensei, sir. Okay, sir. All right. I love you. Thank you. Uh, can you say I love you back, please? I love you. Oh, I love you too. Thank you. Okay, I love you. Bye. 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 <laughs> he went to the kissy thing, but he did the I love you thing. That was nice of him. Thank you for all Market Basket. This is Sam speaking. How can I help you? Hey, Sam. It's Sensei Doug over at the martial arts place. Hi. Hey, we're underneath your store right now. Uh, we found there's kind of tunnels that kind of tunnel underneath all of the businesses here in the shopping center. Yeah. So we found a uh, basically an entrance in our place, and we're directly underneath your place now, according to GPS. Oh, okay. So this tunnel doesn't seem very safe because it just kind of ends over here. We're gonna dig. Yeah. We're gonna dig up, and we're gonna put a hole in the middle of the floor. But just a, um, a small let hole. Let me transfer you to my manager because I'm not sure. We want to build a staircase. All right, one second. Hurry up. Come on. Nick's going on. No time for this. Oh, I forgot. Um, I had <laughs> Nick Caesar uh, background art all day today that I was not using. Sensei Doug, if you like the art on your screen... Be sure to go check out twitch.tv slash nickseaser13. He's late. It's 12 o'clock and he's not on yet. Hey, it's um, Sensei Doug. I'm underneath your store right now in the tunnel. Hello? Hello. Hi. Hi. Who's this? Oh, it's Sensei Doug, you know, over at the martial arts place. Yeah. Um, we, we found the, uh, you know, there's tunnels underneath all the stores. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> I yeah, had no idea. yeah. And the the main entrance is uh, we found the entrance in our store. It was boarded up, but we've opened it up and opened a doorway, and we're gonna open up a uh, entrance in your store too, so that people just have like an extra way to, you know, to 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 get into our store. There's gonna be an okay. in entrance to our to your store inside of our store. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. And so where's where's that gonna lead though? Um, well, I, I'm not sure where it comes up in your floor. We're getting ready to cut cut upwards here in just a little bit. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna start working on that today. Uh, but we'll what's come. The reason for this? Oh yeah, just I, I think it'll be like a good marketing thing because uh, people will be able to, you know, we'll have like a little spiral staircase downward, and it'll just have a sign that says Sensei Doug's Dojo. And That's then what? Sensei Doug's Dojo. That's the name of my uh, martial arts program. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, what? All right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so separate entranceway. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like um, it's it's in the store area. It's not in the back room. Okay. But I think I, I don't know where it's gonna come up. So All we're, right. we're gonna make it's a small we're gonna make a small hole first, and then we will raise a flag up through it, and we'll come over and try and figure out where it is. That sounds good. I'm gonna get golf. Yeah. Golf yeah. Hole. Yeah, right. yeah, exactly. That's what it's going to be. All right. All right. I got to go watch Nick Caesar. He just went live on Twitch. Okay. And right. I love you. Have a good day. All right. Bye. I love you. Say it back or it's weird, please. <laughs> I love you, too. Oh, I love you. Mwah. <laughs> Bye. Bye, honey. All right. That guy's all for it. He's like, hell yeah. Uh, next level. I know. Hey. There, there he is. <laughs> hey, Nick. Good to see you. Yeah, um, 
So the show's over, everybody. Thanks for listening. Uh, Nick Caesar, he does, he's, he's going to sit here and draw for like two or three hours. He does commissions. He does requests. You might be able to just ask him to draw something. Or maybe he's just doing a thing where you don't get to make suggestions. I don't know. It's kind of like a prank call show, though. Instead of calls, it's drawings, and you get to control where his drawings go. Sometimes. I don't know about today. <laughs> he's got He-Man and Skeletor. <laughs> I love you too, F in reality. I love you, Bayonet yeah, Bandit. Thanks for, uh, thanks for dropping in. I love you, Revolving Kills. That's I, gonna happen soon. So I love you, like, Gooser. Uh, all my I love you, Devin Anus Tart. Calling weirdos are gonna be joining soon. I love Roy Who Gerbil. See, he knows it's coming. He's preparing for it. Of course, Brad might be. Uh... He's not happy about it. <laughs> All right, bye everybody. Like, Seriously, a good caller or something. Go there right now. Bye. Hey, Brad. It's Teen Wolf Jesus. Hey, hey. Teen I Wolf don't know what Jesus. the proportions of uh, Patreon supporters to freeloaders are on your voicemails, but I don't for know anybody either. That's listening, that is a freeloader. You guys missed a real fucking crazy show that Brad just had this week. He was on for two hours. Did they? It was a live show. It was on video. And oh my God, he got a hold of a CIA agent, CIA agent who was hey. undercover, hey. and this guy was talking about like MK Ultra and we, Brad. We agreed not to talk about this. All these secret codes. Team Wolf and Jesus the guy accidentally caused the fuck are you uh, doing? A nuclear strike. It was a great show. Shut up. Um, if you don't Shut support up. Brad on Patreon, you're fucking missing out. It was two hours, and he's got another secret four-hour show coming up on Saturday night. Uh, okay, ne- next voicemail, please. Don't listen to Teen Wolf Jesus. He's full of shit. Hey, Brad. I hope you're doing good. I am. This is Mano One. I want to let you know hey. that I sent you a second song on email oh, called shit. Collect Call. And oh, it's shit. crazy. And I'm putting together a an EP. I'm hoping with five prank call songs. Um, and I sent you a link to that, too. That sounds and it's a work in progress. Kind anyway, of amazing. Thank you so much for what you do. I hope you'll play Collect Call Hell yeah, on will. the show and that you'll include all the songs in the media pack. I'd be really honored. Um, yeah. Take care. We'll see about that. But that's awesome. If you're doing prank call songs, I will look in my emails soon. I'm behind on emails as usual. But I should mention this while I'm thinking of it because I keep forgetting to mention this. I fulfilled a bunch of orders the other day on Bandcamp. There's a Bandcamp order form page at phonelosers.bandcamp.com. I think that's the URL. And you can order coins on there and stickers. And there was about two months worth of that stuff just sitting here in my email and I finally got all those out this past week. So if you were expecting stickers or coins, guess what? I didn't totally screw you over. I actually mailed your stuff out. So be expecting those soon if you haven't gotten them already. Oh shit, what were you talking about? I forget. Oh yeah, prank call songs. I will get to my email soon. That's my next thing I gotta clean up is just my inbox. And I'll probably find more people wanting stickers in there. Hey Brad, hang up the phone. Okay, bye. I said hang up the phone. All right, I'm, I'm trying. Stop but, doing voicemails I'm, and hang I, up the I, phone. I keep trying to hang it up and you keep interrupting me. I'm just, I'm, I turned off your voicemail, okay? I hung up your phone. You win. Hey, Brad, it's me calling hey. from the middle of nowhere. All right. I know that you had mentioned that there's still a good bit of... Un- you need to fix that smoke alarm battery. It's not that expensive. Just go out there and get a 9-volt battery and put it in that smoke detector. It could save your life Release someday. Carlito material? Ongoing? Yeah. Um, can, can I expect... Oh, I think you cut out. You're asking if it's ongoing. Yeah, it's... I mean, I guess I haven't touched any Carlito stuff in a really long time. So it's about time that I release another Carlito show. If there is another one to release. I don't know what his last shows were like or if they lasted very long. We'll see. But keep an eye on madhouselive.com. I'll get something a up there. A future drop from up there soon. From, from you know his archives or anything. Yeah, I'll okay. do that. All I had to ask. Okay, bye. bye yeah, I keep kind of forgetting about that, and then I go back to it and do another one. I don't know how many are left in there. It doesn't matter. You you know who this is, and you know why I'm calling. And uh, this call is being recorded, and oh, I've, okay. uh, I'm tracing the line, and, and I know exactly. 
who you are and where you are, and the police will right. be there any minute. And you're going to go to prison. That's right, not jail, but you're going to go straight to prison for straight making these calls. Straight to prison? Calls. And some, some big no guys trial? in there are going to they're gonna straighten you out, all right? They're, they're going to straighten you the hell out. Sure. And, and I'm a Christian and a cop, and you, you don't call me, and you don't tell my wife what you told her, and you know what she Very said. Sorry, How sir. How dare you? Because sorry. People who make strange phone calls, okay. they deserve... Okay, you're just rambling at this to- point, sir. I have to let you go. Oh, look, another voicemail from him. And like I said, that this phone mm-hmm. call is being traced and tapped. Going and on and on and on. And there's nothing you can do about Fuck. it. Because the police are going to right. come over I'm, to I'm officially like... scared, okay? You got me. I'm scared. Hey, Brad. How you doing? Hey. Cannabis Pampers here. Pretty good. Not doing too well. I have to go to the dentist. Okay. Today. That sucks. Guy bent me over and uh, told me I had an anal cavity. What's wrong with him? That's, uh, yeah, anyway, that's I think you should uh, check out Bob RTC dot tell. A lot of Indian scammers there. You call them on the show. It'd be great. Call okay. them Ben Jode and Chutia and Mother Jode. Yeah. Fantastic, Brad. All right, pumpkin okay. seed. I gotta go. That's what I like doing. Targeting a specific race of people. And cursing at them in their own language. That's what I should start doing on this show. Hey, bud. Uh, it's just uh, Jeff calling from Canada, eh? Uh, hey, Jeff. That was a really short voicemail. Hey, Brad. It's Dirty Dr. Dan. Uh, hey. Good morning. Uh, your parole is almost... Wait, parole? No. No. Shit. Wrong. What's, it, what's it called? Probation. Uh, the thing that they put probation. you on when you it's are probation. naughty and you need to be good for five years. That Damn. thing, it's almost over. Damn, it's probation. Yay. Uh, does that does that mean you're going to... It doesn't get... feel like almost, though, you know. It's still more than a year. Cardings next year because you're less likely to go to jail. Yeah, maybe. Uh, you know, I know I know you said it gets old after like a month. It does. But, you know, maybe just do it for a week, please. Yeah, maybe. Kissy, kissy. We'll see. Uh... I definitely want to do them again. And I don't know about next year because I won't be free yet next year during Ding Timber. But I have to admit, I kind of enjoyed the break this year. I don't think a single person even brought it up. It was kind of nice. I know, I know, I know you said you don't like I mean, you are now, motherfucker. me anymore on that one show like a few weeks ago, I think. But I still love you. Thanks. Platonically. Okay. And unconditionally. Thank, thank God. Bye. Hey, Brad. This is Mano One. Hello. Um, I started listening to the show, I think, late 2019. Mm-hmm. And so before my time, there was a whole Michelle thing over like, I don't know, 100 episodes or something. And the, <laughs> yeah. the whole Mildred Monday thing. Went on forever. Before all your seats are, you know, I don't think it's covered any of that. And you keep talking about it in many shows like everybody knows. But That's true. please make a show with all of Mildred Monday so we understand uh, what it is and not, can laugh with you. Not all, all of it. Of Michelle, because I love her tweets and all that, and I understand mm. it doesn't happen anymore. But anyway, Mildred Monday, Michelle, the lore. I okay. want to be in. I want to listen to like a four-hour episode. With we need a Wikipedia, you guys. Wait, we have one. Phonelosers.com slash wiki. I can't be found. That's fucking great. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I've done like an episode somewhere of Mildred Monday, but maybe it's not a snowplow show. Maybe it's just a YouTube video. Yeah, here it is. I just typed in Mildred Monday pranks into YouTube, and there's a video from nine years ago. It's called Mildred Monday Extravaganza. It's 31 minutes long, and I'll try to link to this in the show notes. I'm going to put the link in there right now, so hopefully I don't forget. Be sure to go listen to that. Like, right now. Like, fuck the voicemails. You should turn this off right now and go listen to a bunch of Mildred stuff for 30 minutes. It's guaranteed funny stuff. But also, I can just tell you who Mildred is. She's some lady that I made a phone call to her once when I found her name in the phone book and I thought it sounded funny. It was while I was at work at a movie theater in Indianapolis. She also lived in Indianapolis. And my first call to her was from a payphone and I just kept calling her over the next 20 years or so. Not a lot, but you know, when you look at it all together, it seems like a lot. I was only calling her once every year or two, you know? No big deal, right? And then Michelle, there's really not a whole lot of prank calls to her. There's the really good one uh, from Carlito, which people ask me about occasionally, and I never can remember where it is. 
You might try madhouselive.com. Maybe he's got it on there. But he had two calls to Michelle, and I had basically just one. It wasn't very long. I think I took it down because she was upset that I put it up there, and it's probably still down, or maybe it's not. I don't know. But she's just some lady that I called after Carlito called her. We haven't heard from Michelle in forever, though. Her Twitter disappeared, and hopefully that was good for her mental health. Because holy shit, she had some issues. Hey, Brad, it's Redbeard. Hey, Redbeard. Uh, haven't checked in a long time. I've been I know. fulfilling the final wishes of Donald Peterson. Or as the You're getting calls from that damn kid of yours, though. I know him. Dead smoker. And uh, spreading his ashes over Epstein Island so he can watch over the souls of all those kids. Yeah. Anyways, uh, related to the show, I wanted to let you know that for all these years, Fed Smoker was your Uncle Scott, and he did love you very much. What? He, he good boy, Wait, Brad. what? I couldn't even understand you. He was proud of you. Now you rest in peace. Yay. Right. Okay. Text, text. But what were you saying? I didn't... I. You know, spread your phone is awful, Redbeard. His ashes over at Spain Island so he can watch over the souls of all those kids. Related- souls of all those kids? Yeah, I don't know. Something about Uncle Scott. Maybe I will understand it when I'm editing this show later. Brad, how's it going? Hey. Down south, Chartmouth here from Ontario, Canada. Hello. Love your show, man. We'll listen for a long time. Thanks. Hope uh, you're doing well in the crazy times you have going on right now. Yeah. Keep it up, and uh, I'll be keep listening. Oh, I will. Love you. Say it back, dude. It's weird. All right. I love you. Cheers. Very much. Look at that. There's only two voicemails left, but you know what? Fuck those two voicemails. I'll play those on the next show. I'm done with all this. Uh, One thing before I go, though, I don't want to forget to mention this. You should go listen to the show that Nick Caesar did immediately after this show, because not only was he drawing PLA stuff during that stream, his first thing he drew was like a Snake Eyes character. And you know what? I'm going to make that the show art for today's episode, because he tagged me in that on Facebook yesterday, I think. But he takes requests, you know, he draws what you tell him to draw on his Twitch stream, which is really fun. But also, he talks about PLA a lot in this one, and kind of gets into some stuff I don't think I knew about. Like, I didn't know that Laugh Track Matt brought Nick Caesar to the PLA community. I probably have found that out in the past and mentioned it on shows. Go ahead and make fun of me, I have a bad memory. But he's talking about Matt and Carlito and Daisy and the voicemail callers. He talks about all of you guys. He talks a lot of shit. And if I were you, I would listen and I would be pissed at Nick Caesar. Sorry, no, just kidding. Don't be pissed at Nick Caesar. But go watch his video. It was a lot of fun this week. It's fun every week. Oh, yeah, he's the one that should take the blame for me not getting a show done on Sunday. Because on Sunday, I spent the three hours after my show. Instead of editing, I watched Nick Caesar draw things. Uh, anyway, this show's over. Thank you, Brennan, Plaz, Lord and Lady of Veggies, FN Reality, and B.I. Ever for Life. You guys make the show machines go. I appreciate it. Thanks. Bye, everybody. Chug a look, chug a look. Make you want to holler, holler. Don't call my fucking phone with no bullshit, bro. I'll fucking kill your fucking dome, bitch.